Hello. It seems like ages since I've done um, an abstract in my sketchbook. I'm now working from the other side back to front, so I'm using the back sides of the uh, pages I used before. So I'm just going to pop it out of the book, which is one of the good things about the disbinding system. And I'm going to start off with some crimson and Payne's grey. And I'm going to put some dark areas on first of all. I now I've added a little bit of white and I'm keeping the same colours on the paintbrush and just working in these areas. And a bit more white there. It's all very rough at the moment, but it gets tidied up later. A little bit more white again. I'm making some scratchy marks with the side of a palette knife and my little stick that makes some lovely marks. I like those. And I'm just covering this area here with some uh, pink with the white. And now I've got my homemade washi tape, which I did in a previous uh, video. I can link that at the very end. And I'm just adding that in various places on the page, on the edges. I'm using PVA glue. Just putting it in three places. Now making some marks with the crimson. Using a small paintbrush, Just making scribbly marks there as well. I'm working intuitively as I usually do. I'm doing some mark making with the paintbrush here as well. I'm using the Payne's Grey and Crimson mix and adding some marks in various places on the painting. Now I'm using the buff titanium and a palette knife and applying that in various areas. I think it's just the two areas. I like the fact that the palette knife gives an interesting texture and a bit of variety from just brushwork. Also scratching with the side of it makes some lovely marks as well. Now I'm using my uh, lovely Naples yellow and I'm adding a bit of, I think it was magenta I added there. I didn't see what I was doing there. I think it is the magenta. That's a beautiful peachy colour. And again I'm using the palette knife to apply the paint and I'm applying it fairly thickly actually. So I do need to use the hairdryer but I cut that bit out so you don't have to watch me wafting a hairdryer around. <laughs> so now I'm going in with some white and I'm mixing that in, letting the colours blend together to give a softer line, no hard edges. Using that uh, stick, it's actually a skewer, but it's great for mark making, especially when the paint, paint isn't totally dry and you can scratch through to the next the layer underneath, it's great. 
So I'm just going in with a bit more white, which is sort of mixing in with the lovely peach colour. And now I'm mixing some more pink using the crimson, uh, no, the magenta and some white. The, color, the paints I use are System 3 acrylics. And I'm noticing as I'm working on this that I have an area in the bottom left hand uh, corner there that looks, it's actually the buff titanium, but it's beginning to look green with all the colours around it. So I decided to work with that. But not quite yet. That will happen later. At the moment, I'm just adding some more of the crimson to the darker areas. Just giving it a bit of variety. I didn't want the dark colours to be very flat and unexciting. So I'm doing that in all of those areas. So I'm moving the, um, the painting around as I'm working. That is one of the benefits of doing a small piece, actually. It's much harder when you've got a large piece up on the wall to be able to flip it. So now I'm going in with a larger brush, a synthetic brush. Um, I'm finding synthetics are very nice with acrylic paints. And I'm using white and I'm letting it blend with some of the colours that are already there. And now I've mixed that green and that's using the chromium green and just some white to give it a pastel colour. I'm applying some of the paint there, making some cross marks. And now I'm coming in with my handmade stencil. If you want to see how I make handmade stencils, I'll put the link in the description box below. And I'm just mixing up a colour that's in between the dark and the light there. So it shows up on both. And I'm going to apply it with the sponge through the stencil. It breaks up the harsh edges between the dark and the light areas. And now I'm going in with my very favourite triangle stencil. Again, another ha homemade one of mine. I prefer to use my own. As I'm using a light peachy colour through there. And a bit more down there. So now I've got my Sennelier oil pastels and I'm drawing, making some drawing marks. I do love these pastels. They're so juicy. I've used many oil pastels in my past, but these are the best. And now I'm going over some of the areas Blending some of the oil pastel marks in, they still show through slightly. And this is the white mixed in with the peach colour that I've got blended there now. Now I've decided I want to make these areas a bit redder, so I'm going over with some red there. 
and I'm doing this on all the dark areas. The red I'm using is the crimson. And that makes the colours much more lively and less flat. And I'm going over this corner as well and I'm blending in some of the triangles and I like that effect. It's much more subtle, which is great. Oh, it's beginning to shape up nicely now. And now I'm going in with some more of the peach colour and the um, palette knife. And again, I'm doing some more scratches with the skewer. This is a woodland skewer. And I'm going in with some more of the green. I lost those green marks earlier on and I want to reintroduce them a bit more. And I want them to look more cross-like. I just enjoyed those earlier on. I'm just going to add some bits and pieces down at the bottom here. And now I'm using my um, spy ruler. <laughs> I like spirals and I've made um, a ruler out of wire based on the golden section and I use it um, as much as I can I love it <laughs> and now I'm making some marks with the white oil pastel for some reason I wanted that area to be lovely and busy and it sure is <laughs> and now I'm doing some drawing drawing in that area I don't know why I paused there and now I'm using the fine liner and going over those areas I wanted a bit of action there and a bit of action over here although I overdo it a little bit and have to knock it back <laughs> and this is watered down acrylic paint in a fine nozzled bottle and I'm going to knock back some of those areas that I think I'd overdone slightly calm it down a little bit and make a bit more sense of it but I am getting near completion I've just got some final touches I still need to do it's when I begin to fiddle that I realize that I'm at the end of the painting So I've mixed a bit more of the pink and I'm just touching up some of the pink areas that I think had um, begun to blend in a bit too much. I wanted them to stand out a bit better. I have enjoyed using this colour scheme. I'm very, very, very fond of blues and I love blues and greens in paintings. And I am always a little bit frightened of red. So I'm pleased to have used so much of it in this painting. So that is it, finished now. Just a few touches and then it'll be done. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching. Bye!